Hey, what's going on everyone? Josh Quinones here. So I have never owned nor ridden an electric bike before and let me tell you, I have been having so much fun with this electric bike right here. This is the new Valatric Discover 1 e-bike. So going over some of the specs and features here, the bike does feature a 500 watt rear hub motor with 40 foot pounds of torque, has a 692 watt hour battery with a range of up to 80 miles. We got 26 inch wheels on both the front and back tires, both skinny wheels as you can see here. So I wouldn't really take this off-roading or anything like that. This is more for cruising around the city or maybe even cruising down the beach walkway. So taking it up to the handlebar, starting with the right side over here, as you can see, we do have the rear brake controller right here on the right side. We also also have the throttle if you do want to get that electric assist going all you got to do is press down and it will get you going and then we also have a thumb shifter seven speed right here so if you press this up here it's gonna drop down for you and then if you press this up here it'll take it up some gears and then we got a little bell right here to let people know you're coming up behind them. Now taking it to the center of the handlebars here, as you can see, we have a small screen there that's going to give us our miles per hour, how much battery life we have left on the bike, how many miles we've ridden, and what level of assist we are on. And then taking it over here to the left side, this is where our front brake controller is going to be. And then we got three buttons right here. So we have the power button, you're gonna press and hold that to turn it on and to turn it off. And then we have the plus and minus sign. So what this basically does, as you can see here, if I press the plus sign, it takes the assist levels up and we have three levels of assist and then the minus sign will bring that assist level down all the way to zero. Now this plus button right here is also used to turn on the headlight because yes, this bike does come with a headlight as you can see right there. And to turn that on, all you gotta do is just press and hold and then it should turn that on for us. Boom, look at that. And then going to the back, we also have a light back there as well. Now, of course, the seat can be adjusted to go up or down, as you can see here, and it actually gets up pretty high. So if you're someone who's pretty tall, you should have no problem <laughs> with this seat right here. And it also gets down pretty low as well. Now, if you live somewhere where it rains often or just sprinkles here and there, you're not gonna have to worry with this bike right here because it is IPX5 water resistant. So that's great. It can withstand other weathers other than just sunny like it is here. Beautiful day today. Now, when unboxing this bike right here, it is going to come in pieces. It's not going to come assembled for you you are going to have to do a little bit of assembly yourself now the whole back side of the bike does come put together but it was just a couple parts that you do have to assemble and like I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video this is my very first time ever owning one of these or using one of these or even putting one together but I will be honest even for a first timer like me once I figured everything out and where it needs to go it's actually a very simple process in putting this bike together. So here's a picture of what the bike looked like out of the box. As you can see, most of it was already put together for me. All I had to do was add on a few things. Now, one of those things was the handlebar, as you can see here, and it was fairly easy to attach this to the bike. All I really had to do was just set it on there and tighten it up. There is a little plastic part right here, which you do have to loosen, take it off. Then you put the handlebar in there and then just tighten it up and you're good to go. The next thing I had to attach on here was the pedals both the left and the right, which was also fairly easy to put on. You just put it on there, tighten it up, and you're good to go with those. And the next thing was the front tire and this headlight right here, which was also very easy to put on. Now, one cool thing here is that they do include all of the tools that you need to assemble this bike together. You don't have to worry about, you know, bringing out your own toolbox and using your own tools or anything like that. Everything that you need is included in the box for this bike right here. Even extra parts, like we get an extra front reflector and an extra back reflector, even though we already have that front headlight and that backlight, just for added safety if you want to go ahead and add on those parts. But I am ready to take this for a live ride and share my live experience with you guys as we are taking the ride. But before we do, I gotta give a huge thanks and shout out to Bellatrix for sending this bike out for us to take a look at here on the channel and showcase it. And they are also sponsoring this video. So huge thanks to them for that. They were nice enough to sponsor this video, but I will say that all thoughts and opinions are still my own, which we will get to at the end of our ride, but I'm ready to get on this thing and take off. Let's go and take this ride. All right, so here we go. So I am currently using no assist right now on fifth gear. So as you can see, you can even use this as a regular bike as well. So if you've been riding and riding and riding and the battery finally runs out on you, 
you don't have to worry about having to maybe walk this bike home you can still ride it as a regular bike and like i said there's you know different gears you can use to make it easier for yourself or if you want to put a little work in you can also set it to the high gear make it a little bit harder for yourself and get a good exercise in but if you want a little bit of assist let me go ahead and put it on assist one boom and right away as soon as you turn on that first assist you can feel it give it a little push so i'm still pedaling you know to keep the bike going let's see if i stop the assist stops once i start pedaling again boom you can feel that little push so it's just helping me so i'm not having to work as hard and it actually you know has a pretty good speed it has a pretty good pick up and go as well pretty pretty smooth ride so far let's check out the brakes we got the front brake on the left side rear brake on the right side let's do it together whoa <laughs> so the brakes work pretty good there we go that assist helping me out again all right let's go ahead and set it to assist number two there we go boom Woo! all right you can definitely feel it get faster look at that we're going 16 miles per hour right now 17 miles per hour I'm not even pedaling anymore. I haven't even used the throttle yet. But if I want to keep going, I can just push down that throttle and it keeps me going. Look at that. We're on level two right now, going 18 miles per hour. Woo, all right, coming to a stop sign. See, we'll let this car pass. There we go, all right. Let's keep it going. She looked like she was kind of laughing at me. I look kind of silly right now the way I have my phone set up <laughs> on my chest. Now, 18 miles per hour might not seem that fast, you know, especially if you're in a car. But when you're on a bike like this, you can definitely feel the speed with the uh, wind blowing up against your face and everything. And I'm sorry if there's a lot of wind blowing up against the microphones on the phone. So hopefully you guys can still hear me when I'm talking. Right now I'm not pedaling. Still just using that assist. So far a pretty smooth ride. Good morning. Let's go ahead and set it to assist number three. Woo, all right, now I don't even feel like I'm having to pedal anymore. Coming to a stop sign. Now I wanna kinda of see how fast we can get. Before I was able to hit 20 miles an hour, but I kind of stopped there. I'm not sure if I can get any faster than that. Let's test it out. We're at 18. Nineteen. So there's 19 flat. But we're kind of going uphill a little bit. 19.6, 19.8, 20 miles per hour. Is it gonna get faster than that? 20.4. Okay, so I think that's about where it tops off. 20 miles per hour. Woo, and I gotta say, this wind blowing up against my face feels so good right now, especially because it's a nice, beautiful day today. Right, let me go ahead and slow down. Let's go ahead and stop it right here. Woo! All right, so that was definitely a fun ride right there. So when it comes to my overall thoughts with this bike right here, they're actually really good. First of all, the design of the bike, the overall look of it, I think it looks great. The quality looks great, feels great, especially the handlebars right here, nice and soft and comfortable so you don't get any fatigue in your hands. Now, I know I said this was the first bike I've ever used, well, first electric bike I've ever used, so I don't really have anything to compare it to, but as far as just using this bike right here alone, I've actually really been enjoying my experience with it. It's been a fun ride. I do wish that it could go a little bit faster than just 20 miles per hour. I think it would be a little bit more fun just to, you know, get some really, really high speeds. Also, 
some fat tires on this would have been nice as well because you know sometimes i would like to do you know a little bit of off-roading but aside from that i think it's a great bike comfortable to ride great if you're just going to be you know cruising around the city or maybe along the the beach walk definitely a fun comfortable experience right here but y'all let me know what you think down in the comments sections below when it comes to overall electric bikes what do you look for in electric bike what do you think about this one right here i'd love to know your thoughts again huge thanks to valetric for sending this out for us to showcase here on the channel thank you all so very much for watching if you did like this video and find it helpful make sure to give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come i'm gonna go take this for a ride a little bit longer i will see you all in the next one peace out